Hey everyone, CJ here with the Tag to School. Today I wanted to add my two cents into the Chris Kyle debate. Recently, American Sniper was released to theaters, and with it came a lot of praise, as well as a lot of criticism. There have been hundreds of posts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and various other social media outlets that attack Chris's actions. There have been accusations calling him a baby killer, liar, cheat. To me, this is all hearsay. I have no evidence to support these claims. But there's also been praise calling him a true American hero. Here is what I do know, though. He is credited with having more than 160 confirmed kills in Iraq. And he spent his time after the Navy working with veterans who had severe PTSD, or post-traumatic stress disorder. One of his quotes that seemed to be getting the largest amount of condemnation, and what I personally believe to be the reason behind his attacker's motivation is savage, despicable evil. That's what we were fighting in Iraq. Some people want to argue the fact that we only fought evil because we brought it with us. I'm not here to justify why we went into Iraq or why we went into Afghanistan. And I'm not here looking for glory or to boast or for any kind of recognition. But I have seen some of the horrors that war can bring. And unless you've gone and made out that check, made payable to the American people for an undisclosed amount up to and including your life, you don't know what he's referring to. Did we bring evil to Iraq and Afghanistan? Yes, that's without a doubt. But we also brought good. And what the world and what some Americans don't see is how the overwhelming majority of us are. I've seen American servicemen and service women go out of their way and put their lives on the line so an innocent bystander wouldn't become an unneeded casualty of war. But where are these stories at? War isn't to be romanticized. Think about how our troops were treated when they came back home from World War II. They were giving nothing less than a hero's welcome. Now think about how they were treated when they came back home from Vietnam. They were spat on, beaten, threatened. Some of them hated themselves. Why? Because for the first time in history, the media was able to show Americans and the world what war is really like. We didn't fight for oil or to preserve freedom. We didn't fight to spread democracy. We fought for each other so that our brothers and our sisters could come home to their families. Whether or not you think Chris Kyle is deserving of the title of American Hero is your honest opinion. But I have no problem telling you that he is my hero. So on today, February 2nd, 2015, the second anniversary of his death, I say this. Rest in peace, my brother. Semper Fi. And to those of you Americans, and you know who you are, I say, start getting behind our troops. Start getting in front of them.